Hey guys, <clears throat> I hope all is well with everyone. My voice is very strained today. I'm, I don't really know why. I'm not sick, but anyways, I just want to let you guys know. And uh, anyways, so I seen that there's a rumor about Dilaraba and Yang Yang about if they are about them dating. So, how about we look into that? Is Dilbra, Dilara, and Yang Yang dating? Are they secretly dating? Dilara and Yang Yang. Are these two secretly dating? Upstairs, I just heard her sneeze. I gave her cold medicine when she came home. So here we have our King of Swords, male energy, air sign energy. The King of Swords, he makes intelligent, wise decisions. Um, he has like a lifelong experience that he puts into making decisions. Here we have our four pentacles, four pentacles, sorry, the pentacles representing um, earth energy as well as finance and grounding. So the four pentacles is where you're holding on to things really tightly. It can also represent greed as you see this one here, looks like a kid, has the four pentacles <laughs> in its mouth um, as well as candy, but He's got everything he wants, and he's holding on tight to it. It's a form of greed, but there's holding on tight. It's like a grip. And then we have our Ace of Cups at the bottom here. Uh, cups represent Earth. Not Earth, I'm so sorry. Uh, water energy, as well as emotions in the cup. Um, Ace represents something new. So therefore, this card represents a new type of love. Is Dilaraba and Yang Yang secretly dating? Okay. Here we have our Tower card and then the Eight of Pentacles. So the Tower card represents chaos, crisis, destruction. Um, this always has a burst of energy with it. So the tower card, you always see um, people falling out of it and the tower is crumbling, it's burning down. Um, then we have our eight of pentacles. Pentacles again, earth energy, finance, um, grounding energy as well. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is where we want to perfect the labor that we put into the Seven of Pentacles, all that work we put in. We want to perfect it. We want to make it better. At the bottom here, we have our Two of Pentacles. So we have, so far, air and earth energy all across the board. So the Two of Pentacles here, Pentacles, again, earth energy, grounding, finance. The two of Pentacles is where you're balancing things out. You're working things out, balancing out. Could be balancing things out to perfect things. Is Dilraba and Yang Yang secretly dating?
So here we have our Knight of Wands. Wands again, oh, sorry. Wands represent um, fire energy as well as creation. Um, this knight here is the fastest knight in the deck. He typically shows a sign of charging energy, fast energy, something that's coming really quickly. At the bottom of the deck, we have our Ten of Wands. Again, wands representing fire energy as well as creations. The Ten of Wands is where we have a lot weighing on our shoulders and it's weighing heavy on us, it's bringing us down. It's becoming harder and harder to carry all these burdens on your back. It is Dilraba and Yang Yang secretly dating? Here we have our Queen of Swords and our Nine of Wands. The Queen of Swords is feminine energy, air energy. Queen of Swords, this could be Dilraba being Gemini. Um, but the Queen of Swords, this card alone, represents somebody who's contemplating on things, um, working on making a decision. She can be strong with her words as well at times. And then we have our Nine of Wands here. Wands represent fire energy. Um, this Nine of Wands, this person always comes up to, winds up with a blockage that they come to. Um, it's like a dead end, but they always have the Ninth Wand in their hand. So they're bringing the Ninth one to the party. But by this point, they're exhausted They've been through everything, but they're still determined <laughs> to continue forward and do what they want. Here at the bottom of the deck, we have our Queen of Cups, feminine energy, water sign energy. Um, the Queen of Cups, she's somebody who is very nurturing, very loving. Almost like a caretaker, like. Is Dilraba. Thank you. Well, now we have our Seven of Pentacles. Ah, sorry, Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Cups is that water energy, and it's about emotions. The Seven of Cups is all about projects that you're working on. The bottom of the deck here we have our Nine of Pentacles. Pentacles representing Earth energy, um, grounding and finance. The Nine of Pentacles also represents abundance, a type of abundance, a reward. Let me grab another deck. Can you tell us more detail of what's going on here? Can you tell us more detail of what's going on here? Can you please tell us more detail of what is going on here? <laughs> now I get the lover's card. Has that Gemini energy? It's the Gemini card, Major Arcana card for Gemini. It's that connection, that loving connection. It's a very even flow of love. And now here we have our Six of Cups. Cups again representing water signs, water energy as well as um, emotions, 
our emotions that we have. Um, so the Six of Cups represent the past, things are, that are nostalgic, um, reminiscing about the past. At times it can also represent child um, giving um, something to children, like a gift. Can you tell us more of what is going on here, please? So we have our Six of Cups again here, um, but it's after our Eight of Pentacles. If you remember what our Eight of Pentacles was, it's the Earth Energy Grounding um, Finance. The Eight of Pentacles is where we want to perfect what we have seen results from, from putting the labor in into what we want. So we're asking about love. So, well, their secret relationship. So it's as though they're perfecting the things that have occurred in the past. Because we have our Six of Cups here. The Six of Cups represent the past, uh, nostalgic Reminiscing the past. At the bottom of the deck, we have our four swords. Swords representing air energy as well as what goes on in the mind. The four swords as well is about laying things to rest. Um, this card represents the coffin. Um, that's why I say laying things to rest. You're laying nails in the coffin. Um, can also represent healing. Rest. Because when you're resting, you're actually healing yourself. When we get sick, we should be resting, right? So there's like past healing here. That's what, as though they're perfecting to strengthen the love here. Can you tell us more here? About Dilraba and Yang Yang, please. The Empress. The Empress card is all about beauty, um, growth. At times it can represent fertility too, um, but not always. But with fertility, that's where you also, if it has something to do with creation, like something that's being created, putting effort in to create. You're also, it's another way of being fertile too because your mind is just constantly going on what you want to do. Now here we have our eight of wands. Wands representing fire energy as well as uh, creations. The eight of wands um, represent rapid action, rapid movement, um, rapid communication, sometimes rapid, a lot of messages as well. I'm going to draw a few from the top here. Now here we have our Knight of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Pentacles. The Devil card. Justice card. Two of Pentacles. And the Five of Swords. So, again with our Knight of Wands here, it's the Knight all about fire energy and creations and it's the fastest night in the deck so he's coming charging in a charging motion and here we have our four of wands the four of wands can represent soulmate um happy home the homestead now five of pentacles pentacles representing earth energy grounding finance five of pentacles where you're in the dark out in the cold trying to find your way back in here we have our devil's card which is Capricorn energy that's earth energy this card here represents can represent a lot of things at times it can represent sex actually um, but also something that you're chained to something you're connected to here we have our justice card, which is Libra energy, uh, air signs, well, air energy, 
justice card represents where somebody's receiving justice or giving justice. There's a balancing the scale out. Then we have another balance card here with our two of pentacles. Pentacles, again, earth energy, finance, wealth, grounding. Two of pentacles where you're balancing things out. Balancing out these five of pen, or sorry, five of swords here. Swords representing air energy as well as the mind, what goes on in the mind. This five of swords here it typically represent the, um, it's like the monkeys that go on in the mind. It plays the games. Because it, about, and it has to do with things surrounding you. Maybe having to do with two people. Um, but it looks like they're balancing out. It's like, well, we have the lover's card, so I'm pretty sure that's, there's, there's love in, with them. They have a lot of love with each other. I want to say that they are, I get that feeling, a type of vibe as I read it. And we also have two cards about balancing things out next to each other. And the four of wands. At times, well, I did say happy home. And homestead, okay. But we have two elevens here. That represents soulmates. Alrighty, you guys. That is where I'm going to leave it off at. If you've enjoyed, um, please hit that like button. And if you would like to see more in the future, hit the subscribe. Um, there's other ways to show support down in the description box. Um, help with the algorithm with liking and commenting as well as subscribing um otherwise until next time you guys i'll feed the same bye bye